<coughs> and welcome back to RSG Endless Space 2, episode 10. Oh yeah, I need to fuck with op options. Uh-oh. Well, uh, yeah, we need to do this now. Um, portal this window. Thank you. Anyway, so, apply a transport network uh, due to the interaction of gravity, gravitational pulls, and magnetic fluxes. Energy paths exist at speed and some light travel within a system. But I also, I, yeah, actually, yeah. Because it'd be a place where you're farther away from planets and you're also far away from the magnetic things, which would fuck with, like, you know, drawing closer stuff and pushing away. I was applying advanced uh, magnetic transport design. These low cost network facilities access to the farthest point in the system's limits. Uh, plus, the inner super planet with strategic deposits. And I'm guessing then it's specifically then for um, Hyperium. Hyperdeuterium is a rare form of hydrogen with a heavy nucleus. What? Hyperdeuterium? Atomic weight may be used as a fuel source for advanced fusion systems. Hydrogen that helps to obtain it is high valuable, but why is it hyper? I don't know. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like supercharged deuterium or something. Not gonna read that yet. <coughs> so I probably want to get everything, yeah, so that we can exploit everything. Miners Union enables mine workers of every race to form a union, creates a workforce that is better integrated, more efficient, so healthier, so have less dispute, and it's longer, and strategic resource output increased. Situation strategic resource things, okay. And increase industrialists, but it takes eight dust. Okay. But that's, uh, yeah. Mm. Cries of hawkers, the jabbers of negotiations, and the clink of coins are replaced by electronic screens and visible by <laughs> solo orders. <clears throat> this galactic cleaning house for trading luxury and strategic resources. I'll throw the culture clashes and cutthroat commerce. So this will, um, make pacifists more in line. And these unions, plus one resource generation. Oh, and it's telling us what each one does. Okay, and then G good exchange. Thanks to luxury and strategic. Okay, so we can buy luxury and strategic. I'm not sure what strategic is compared to luxury, though. Um, it might be that strategic re- what are- are these being called strategic? Hmm. It might be that, like, that's a strategic thing, but like T. Something like that. I don't know. Is a luxury. <clears throat> in exchange, since the days of caravan trading on Lost World, commerce and markets have been light blooded galaxy, even if it is stocks that are traded by unseen computers, and still exists as a place where good service and juicy rumors are found. Multi thread management. <clears throat> right handles being complexity of a starbound economy, and processes required, one of these uses multiple professionals working in peril, logistics and procurement tests. Multiple concurrent issues in real time. <coughs> Pacifists like it. And that will unlock um, Intergalactic Supermarket. <coughs> Which will improve dust, so that would be good. You'll have to spend money by running to the best place in the universe to do so. You'll probably become rich faster than you ever thought possible. And people are happier. So, plus 25 dust per system level. We'll see, but I, it can only go in one place. So that probably wants to be in our Empire home. Either that, or a place that is massive, with like, you know, 80 planets or something. Well, like, probably like 9 planets or something like that. Which then has the opportunity to grow as a system better. Than our home thing. And production, buyout, in technology, techniques of management, logistics, realization, brute force, reduction of almost anything. So it has a meat to quicker than line, but that comes at a cost. That's immediately complete anything. Right. <laughs> Some dust is a miraculous substance covered with power much of its trade value. <clears throat> that was dust and meal, so it's like energy, kind of. In that, energy is literally like electricity equivalent. But, you know, it's used as currency. Anyway, uh, keeping the score and seeing who's ahead in the great game of political domination. I feel it is time to show the riches you were able to produce. We first produce 100 dust in a single star system. And that will... Give us 75 titanium. As well as being a part of, like, a deed. Astral Finance. As the ledgers and budgets across both time and space is not a simple task. I'm even going complexities to options and interest rates. 
A uh, great deal of pragmatic work needs to be done in financial systems and needs of alien suppliers and customers. So pacifists will like it. Um, Xenotourism agencies and colonial exchange. So Xenotourism agencies. In order to probably tap into an exploding market of alien tourists, special infrastructure needs to be put in place. Travel between planets is a simple problem. Cultures and meals indeed. In order to effectively provide an interesting destination for aliens, so work is required in public infrastructures, hotels, restaurants, spaceports, and most particularly toilets. That's three per planet is luxury deposits, and then plus one per planet on anything with it. Then, colonial exchange, planetary specialization, dust specialization. Colonies both complex and expensive, using funds and turnouts from the government investors. Still some colonists and raw materials from the planet. Uh, system must be able to create to, ha create to handle investments. Loans, salaries, project finances, and taxes. Got to limit taxes. Um, plus one dust per thing on a sterile. And plus one per thing anyways. On that planet, I guess. So want to save that for a sterile planet. Which probably has more dust, I would imagine, or something like that. Because it wouldn't have much else. Wouldn't have food, I'd imagine. So we put it there. Atmospheric filtration. The first step to purifying and planets. I should terraform consists of reducing toxic elements in the atmosphere and tolerable chemical balances. 210 signs. Your lottery. Uh, okay. Colonize ash. So we could do that now for more colonization. Uh, machine must graph for popularity. Uh, luxuries, lottery, nonetheless, is an effective means by which governments can use this in goodwill. Machine <clears throat> across the system for every luxury deposit to govern. The liner brings a glittering windfall to one luxury. Lucky individuals. Why the fuck would ecologists like that? So that's a system improvement. This is a planetary specialization. Okay. Colonize ash. Um, Tim colonize ash type plants without some form of temporal control. A long history of failure, less than the habitats, dissecting, desiccating to the point of death and greenhouses coming to reversible desiccation. I know, unfortunately, the improved technology is problems are a thing of the past. Let's see about that. Okay, then science and exploration. Huh. So will industry instantly gain stuff like that? What is this? Support modules. So the support modules for this <laughs> is string rivetic engines. Can I tell it to do that? My curiosity with probes that read little more than thermal and optical information on races can be discovered. Organizations, okay. And then, oh, so these are modules that can go on ships? Yes, those are modules that can go on ships and I'm guessing you unlock them for each thing. So then you were going to want to have, like, specialized science ships. Although that can probably go on, like, a ship. Like a warship. And these will be for... Okay. No, so there's both science ships and probes. And yes, I'm well aware that I have read this in the past, but let's be honest, no one watched back then, no one watches now, so. In biology, studies of soil samples from other planets, and combined with answers and understanding of extremophilic bacteria, permit scientists who are in certain conditions already more productive crops. So ecologists like that, that one makes sense. Why more expectation be make them happier with uh, that lottery. Well, the private world mission before any great science advances can be found. There must be money to do the research. Same mysterious long-term agreements between public and private entities. Future investment in large-scale ambitious projects can be assured. Here's the thing. Does it tell me if there's, like, titanium or planet? Because I might go for then. It. <clears throat> or I might go for whatever is the smallest science, because that's what I've always done, actually. I mean, it's something, but that's not going to be helpful. That we will not be getting a science victory then. <coughs> anyway, it's something. Da -da -da, agreements from public and private entities. <coughs> Investment in large scale ambitious projects can be assured. Okay. 
Connie is son oh wait, wait, dumbass. So then what that does is so this will never do anything specifically, but it unlocks these things. So plus ten science per fertile planet, plus ten planet, and plus ten per temperate. And that's an improvement that's not a specialization, so I assume it's one specialization, but infinite improvements? Hi, Sandra, improvements of the system in which chat moves through weather resistant plants, location across species that can survive harsh weather via freezing and thawing. I don't have many opportunities for clients to be in inhabitable areas. And then rare earth foams. Uh, scarce and sorry, scarce and difficult to manipulate. Rare earth metals are nevertheless critical to many advanced technologies. Create viable metallic foams from these unusual metals gives a boost to cutting edge astrotechnologies. Psychologists will like that. And then, so science for destroyed command point. Okay. Colors Mediterranean, the object of the beautiful environment of metering type plants in the arch. Soft soils often poor, rainfall limited. I was harsh at position both. How to make sure the cry is in this relatively austere biome. Development uh, influence diplomacy population improval. Nobody the Oxy Treaty, nobody can make things move. And shake the fast and adapt to the stranger than to like diplomacy. So why is this not like a hand shaking a tentacle, honestly? New peace trees, it can exchange more research and sign trade agreements. New reality, okay, and that's why I have drone networks. Well that's why everyone has drone networks or the equivalent of. Planetary landscaping <coughs> improvement, um high development. Um, ten pole description and range of horticultural technologies that together become much greater than the sum of their parts. Um, germline manipulation, program seed dispersal, and artificial pheromone manufacturer basis of incredible tech that can transform whole continents. Yet yeah, it can't do <laughs> colonization. So it gives us um, unique improvements, intensive cultivations. Persistent, I guess it can only be, okay, only, so we, it would be a world, so really we want to explore, find a bunch of worlds, um, that have like a couple temperates or whatever, so then we can, uh, do unique improvement through that system. And accelerated evolution of crops combined with genetic modification radically improves food output, while increasing pest resistance. So, plus 25 things, can we win once? And then sustainable farms, advances the soil biology have opened the gate to new low impact farm methods. We're sitting for water, fertilizer, and sunlight addition crops to be able to grow in extreme temperature and soil quality. Plus food on uh, cold, hot, and then any planet. Of course, um, it's not gonna be, you know, it'll be like plus 10 on cold and plus 10 on hot. But at the same time, you know, those things will already be like a negative, so. Oh, n way is in the variable n, as in number. I, you know, I wonder if there, is there a, like, um, like, history of how variables are decided and all that stuff? Itch Park. Okay, so that'll be, uh, building that. We need titanium and hyper deuterium. I was already starting to understand the strategics. We'll recognize them. Technical scanning. <clears throat> Let's start from the lowest. Adaptive bureaucracies. Um, these new the systems automatically adapt job titles, document routing, chain programs, the latest change in government policy. I get greatly some money and efficiency of government. You may get back from meeting to find you a new boss, a new job, and an undecorated cubicle. Okay, so that gives us, um, Denark University. Most training grounds for government leaders, Denark does not turn out arrogant, self serving in inbred. The Democrats and steady graduates who use to get things done as quickly, efficiently, and cheaply as possible. Every government skyrockets. So, plus 10, um, okayness, approval. <laughs> plus 5 influence, and then plus 2 of everything per population on the planet. But it can only be built once, so whatever, like, the center point of our gal. Uh, 
Empire, which will probably not be our home world, because I feel like that's a trap. It's like, oh, you know, it'd be like a lot of gain at the beginning, but then it's going to peter out compared to other people if they put it in like a very much more uh, better place. No, it's like atmospheres often for excellent astronomical gravitational reasons. No, it's like the non baryonics uh, to create controlled plasma domes around the large areas of planet or even entire planetoids. Virtual atmospheres can be created in traditional colonies, can begin. Uh, can begin. So building like a force shield. Xenobiology. <laughs> Xenology, which would be everything. Oh, no religion. <laughs> uh, first contact with aliens uh, being... Not that there's a problem with... Uh, you, you know. I, I think everyone can agree that religion has at least fucked some things up. But not everything. Every part of it's obviously bad. Otherwise we would have discarded it a long time ago. It's kind of as in beings cause explosive development in branch of studies as diverse as linguistics, anthropology, biology, and sociology. These have all been brought together in the unifying theology of xenology. Okay, and that will just make uh, those happy. Hmm. Academy Embassy. Not to, to very exacting and highly confidential plans relayed directly from the Academy. This embassy um, enables the legendary outfit to gain. Administration for holding the Empire. The purpose to monitor the Empire is readiness for the heroes. Such a brilliant man- Oh yeah, fucking heroes. I forgot about that in this game. Crack cubed blaze to expect certain standards of the warriors. I think, yeah, we found like the Academy or someone else found it right before. Spin. Spin. Project. Planetary specialization. Influence specialization. Politics in um, the news project use various forms of government control, audits, and investigations, as well as access to information. And so, to ensure that only the most fair and balanced image of the government is made uh, public. So, that'd be like uh, information control. No, scan, which I, uh, uh, I like, I'm of the opinion, like, there is some things that should be controlled, like information. Like, obviously, like, oh, we're doing this research and all that stuff. Dangerous, or I think it was like a not necessarily a thought experiment, but something that came up in like one of the videos recording or whatever. Like, what if we knew that there were aliens and they were so much more powerful than us, and they were like abducting people all the time? Would you, as a government, want to tell people that? Because if you do, that's gonna sow fear and it's not gonna help anything. So something like that would I feel like would be understandable. That no, the government shouldn't tell us if Area Fifty One actually has aliens. Because it's not, it's only going to be a detriment to us. Your relatively sedentary and slow growing plants are easy to scan and analyze. Animals seem to tag and scan plant life on a large scale, aid in measurable efforts, and colonize new plants and systems. Yet can't colonize on planets and systems. Epigenetic uh, crop seedings. When they did that, plant DNA to its environment and transfer those learned traits to the generations. It's a boom in healthy. Use resistant long lived crops. <coughs> Intensive cultivation logistics. Technologies in fertilizing, crop rotation, genetics, storage, and transport all lead to very efficient and high volume food production. Plus 10% per luxury, and then plus 10% in general. And that's for a system improvement. That's not a specialization, I think. Okay, so that would be uh, since we're an imperial thing, we have unique things, which is good. Because, I mean, it makes sense, like, an AI wouldn't need this stuff. Um, oh, well, I mean, they would because it's cheating. I mean, the natural magnetic characteristics of the whole material and using light analyzing and construction, this roof chip design, or this tonnage and improves connecting missile defense. Wouldn't, like... So, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't matter. Higher thing, yeah. Because I was saying in deep, in like dead space, because I believe dead space is an actual term for like the space between galaxies is dead space because there's nothing there, usually. Um, <clears throat> then like higher, al you know, heavier alloys and more of them wouldn't matter that much. But yeah, if you're in like a system, then having like a billion kilotons worth of like cold plating is going to affect you when you go near like Jupiter, so... Uh, by augmenting the natural magnetic characteristics of the whole material and using liner alloys and construction, this will ship design and the tonnage and improves connected missile defense. So that would be an Egrizi class, which is an attacker role. 
It's a small attacker ship, and it only takes one command point. And you're in F-Class. Hull design, which is a protector. Which is a tank, then. That is, okay. Because I know I had some slight problem with... Well, I, th I don't... I don't think I played this game enough to really have any problems that much, but, um... The military being that you can only build, like, small scout ships, but I think that I might be confusing it with Solaris. Because Solaris, um, you know, you stay in frig with frigates for, like, look at, like, 20, 30 years, so... Anyway, fusion, um, technology, armor, and defense. It's a lot of practical impossibility. We can advance the shield and energy prevents more than two bot, yep. To be involved in a fusion, um, reaction this will open the door to normal sleeps and energy generation. Some more dust. And for his bunkers by DK, okay, that makes sense because, you know, the bunker can sustain more. It doesn't need to be near the surface for, like, heat. And you've been using lands armor that are by turns harder, hardened. So we're in ablative, don't know what that means. Bunkers can be, I'm guessing, um, like, reflective, like, deflective. It's being created that are considered to be almost uncrackable. So plus 150, I don't know what that is. It's under man deployment limit. So that would be defense for getting invaded. If only I had, like, a... My, um... <coughs> a Colossus. A chain gang program. Chain gang program. Uh, watching state is empowered state. Citizens who are caught engaging in illicit activities are able to commute to sentences and when criminal rights by immediately listening to the military. I'm surprising. Most welcome the uh, opportunity. How the fuck that has to do with the NY fusion? I don't know. I guess the idea is... Okay, converts one population into a 300 military force. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure how that works with the conversion. Because I know I have that one ability that increases our, like, conversion to military troops. Which I think, uh, which I think my guess would be... My, I'm not that I have any proof of this. My guess would be, which I was guessing earlier... Is that that's how you determine how big your fleet is. That and then how much, you know, how much, like, dust it's in maybe industry it's going to cost to manage that. Well, yeah, you see up there 375 uh, military. Manpower, okay. So you populate your ships and ground troops. Take a fraction of their growth to contribute to the empire-wide manpower. Dispatch as ship crews or system defense troops. Okay, that's what that little um, circle was. I thought there was, like, a bomb. So, no, that's a, that's a goddamn, that's a planet with, like, a little building on it or something. Or an ADS. Is that, no. What is ADS? PDS, Planetary Defense System. Asteroid Defense System, that's what ADS is. Ubiquitous surveillance, everyone's safe where nobody has any secrets, right? Every part of the world is washed with data capture devices and nano cameras, so you've dropping flies. Well, sniffers, not to mention digital trawlers. Big data shipyards, um... Okay, so, what sort of initial experience, which would be important, I guess? I like how this seems to be like a double, like that picture. Seems to be like two holes of a ship. So it's like double layered. Although I feel like that would make it more defensive, but less able to control its guns. Because you could knock off a gun, I feel like, easier. Building Atomic Construction Technology Shipyards able to integrate because I think you could like you know hit a turret and that turret could like be uh, punched in further because there's like a gap you know there's this space. Anyways. And Thomas Construction Technology Shipyards able to integrate data from the Empire's fleets from deep space from battle from still anomalies to construct vessels at absolute cutting edge of ship design. New vessels leave the shipyards if they've already spent considerable time in the great beyond. And then OTG delivery gear damages additional manpower 50 our deployment limit attacking so I want to be plus 25 protection health bonus plus so 50 yeah basic high um, eye plating so plus 200 defense and plus per 30 well plus 200 health plus 30 projectile defense I mean plasma beam weapon module beam uh, damage per second, deep uh, is 11, critical hit chance 5%, weapon type is energy. Sure, so it's good for all the things. Basic opal laser, damage per second, 13%, critical hit chance 10%, type, okay. Um, so it's optimal at medium. 
I'm gonna want to make um specific uh so unlike what I do in Solaris where I'm just like let's have every ship just you know just scroll through things, which is not the correct way to do that because that fucks with my distance. Um, <clears throat> but I do it anyways. What I would probably want to do then is build specific like little classes of ships that are specifically good you know have weapons specific to the role in their armor. So like heavier ships can go. Nearby, whereas, like, more frail ships should go longer range with, like, energy weapons. And a couple of CP, C5, AI, command points. All the senior miles are not made by a computer. Once weapons start to fire, they use other command, command systems. I mean, by quantum coupled communications can efficiently manage larger fleets. And then basic plasma shielding. And modules, so plus 15 health. Five, uh, plus 550 at shield. 70 energy defense. So I'm guessing how it works is health is health, and then defense mitigates. Nah, it can't be like 100% because any offense, well, we're only doing 100, like, energy damage, so. I'm guessing it's something like a percentage system. So, like, even if you have, like, one DPS, or, like, you know, DPS like that, it can never go to zero. It'll just keep on, like, probably like, going to, like, one, which, you know, is not gonna, you know, if it's, uh, ships regen. During battle, uh, and basic high eye slugs, uh, weapon module kinetic damage per second DPS is 25. Gun type projectile, it's a flex, so damage versus missiles uh, plus 120. Energy squadrons is three. Simultaneous results connect weapons, flight targets, incoming uh, squadrons, boarding pods. Okay, that's different. So it's only effective at short range, so it'd be good for like a heavier thing to like protect it from being boarded because that would probably be like a weakness. Because, you know, heavily armored ships and stuff like that, um, would, you know, the main way to get it would be boarding them. I feel like the flak thing would still be good if, when missiles get close. Yeah. The basic ion torpedoes. 20 damage, projectile, salvo health, 60, yep. And then it's optimal at long range. Should we want to do missiles and, like, energy things, and then that at, like, medium. And then short would just be, I guess, really just basic plasma beams. Okay, so let's make a decision. So, um, I'm of the opinion that I like colonization first, so I can get as many planets as we can. How many planets do we know that we have in here? So we have a desert planet and a lava planet. So tundra, Mediterranean. Actually, didn't I say I'm not gonna give a damn and I'm just gonna do whatever's shortest? Okay, it looks like they're always equal, so. Sorry, I had that. Okay. Yeah, as a rich one, and as your empire can explore the stars and cross. Unusual places and happenings where your attention needed is great. We'll continue next time the song just